Hey guys, today is February the 14th of 2013. I just want to go over some charts with you. Uh, the Euro, uh, let you know my thoughts, and I just want to let you know this is just educational purpose. I'm just a guy that looks at Fibonacci levels, spiral levels, and other indicators, and just let you know my thoughts. So please consult professional financial advice. With that being said, let's get into the charts. Look at this chart right here. Price and time from the 2-1 high, 4 by one and look. We were in a cluster zone right here, and look, it failed. It's just failing. And uh, next support on this will be that 2875, which would be right here, and you got the 200. So if you're thinking about going long, uh, this would probably be a good idea probably to get in. I'm going to show you a couple of things because it's pretty interesting. I'm kind of mixed. I don't, I don't know uh, where I'm going to get in in this uh, trade, but I'm just watching right now. Uh, this is my monthly chart. And remember I told you about this level right here, very strong level. Uh, the cycle is correct. It could bounce here, but I don't know. Uh, I think the cycle will probably be next week between the 21st and the 22nd where things could probably change towards the uh, upside. But, I mean, I'm just speculating right now. It's not nothing written in stone. So we had resistance here at that 3710. Uh, we were hanging around here at that 3053, and then finally f just failed it. And now we're over here. So if I zoom in into like a five-minute chart, a uh, five-minute, uh, five just to see where this level is, we're really close. If you see that, you know, it just starts getting a lot of buyers. I mean, it's at 20. 2910 this is right here it's that 20 it's that 2900 2903 or 2905 depending you know it's just cents uh, but that's where it's at and that's the level we were at so it could probably pierce it and then jump off but you know it all depends if it's going to respect that uh, level or not and that's just on the monthly I also wanted to show you uh, let's see there was a couple, there was another one that, that it's right at support. Um, might be the weekly. No, I feel that one too. I think it's that monthly price and time I have. There it is. I'm pivoting it from here. And the only reason why I pivoted from here, this is a Fibonacci fans, is because this price respected here. And it kind of found support here. Uh, resistance up here so you know I mean you can pivot up here you can pivot up here but I just left it there and look this is where price is at right now it just hit that level right now that 50% uh, Fibonacci fan and if we zoom in in an hour chart it's you know pretty close but it's it's support right there you know if you ask me uh, what else I wanted to show you? I think that was about it. Uh, there were some key levels that it cracked. Uh, this is my uh, six-month grid. It failed that. I remember it you know, kind of hovering here. I thought it was going to jump up, but it failed. Um, let's see if there's anything else I wanted to show you. My 914 high. Uh, price and time, it failed that one too. This support over here at the 75%. Uh, which is at 28.86 and 29.27, 78.6. So that's that. Uh, let's see what else I wanted to show you. Uh, even if you go on that 7.24 low right here, it, it's it failed all this, and this another, the next support would probably be that 200 measure 27.37. Uh, I think that's it for charts. I think I'll probably go to, uh, let's glance it, um, uh, Fib in time, 20 year, that's my Andrews pitchfork, that's that big level I'm watching, it might head down there, but I doubt it, there's other color, other levels that it might find support uh, before it, it heads down to that uh, level, let's see, uh, my three year, oh, this is, uh, my arc spiral, and I remember this is all clustered here too, and it and it uh, kissed this up here and failed, and it's just trying to, I guess, get back in trend, but this is that level where I should have shorted, but I missed it, that 29.64, I mean, I scalped it this morning, but it was a short scalp, it was nothing major, uh, 29.64, I'm probably going to try to get up there again, 
Now let's look at this uh, glance. Glance this chart. These are indicators that I use. Uh, a lot of pivots and uh, a cloud. I got a PPS signal to sell. It cracked mobile band, so it really got weak. It was really in chop mode, but once it cracks this, it's like to the downside. That's on the uh, daily, and the cloud is uh, getting bigger. Chico now cracked the cloud too, so now it's definitely really weak to the strong side. Uh, weak to the downside. Let's look at the weekly. I've always said it that it, I feel like it wants to head to the 50 on the weekly. And that 50 is that 2881 around there ish. Uh, Chiku couldn't even turn around on the weekly, so it's caught in to the weekly price, and it's already digging in. It's piercing in at that price, so this thing could like really shoot down. I was, you know, if it was gonna turn, it was gonna, it had to do it with strength and momo to the upside to like get out of this, this, this. It just, it's heading towards a wall if you look at it. So it's, it's, it's weak. Very weak, uh, very weak. The only thing that I see that's supporting there, besides all the other uh, supports I showed you on the channels, uh, charts, is that 50. Monthly, probably the same thing. It just looks like it's just heading lower. But I was just like glancing everything. Oh, that other support right here of the uh, tanking. Uh, what is that? 28.74 right there. Yep. So that's another support of the uh, Kumo. Uh, moving average so that's that uh, you want to look at the four hour it's right at the linear regression line of the 100 so it pierced it and it's just trying to stay above it so it's just hanging there by a thread and you got Woody's weekly pivot here at 2896 and you got a daily pivot here of support and then you got this 50% uh, which is at 2875 so there's a lot of support showing up down here. Uh, let's look at uh, the big picture and see what's going on there. I don't have too much time. Um, you guys know the drill, monthly, weekly, daily, and five-minute. I'm just going to kind of focus on the 12-minute, 12 12-hour uh, 12 chart daily and the weekly because this pretty much hasn't changed on the on the monthly. We were in a we we're in a squeeze play, and I thought it was gonna go up as of the date of the 12, 13, 12 around there, because it just had divergence going up. But it's cracked at 356 simple moving average. Tima's selling, Mobo selling. Now is in squeeze play on the 12 hour, on the CCI and uh, Fisher pip, purple signal sell, and. It looks like it's all now going red. We haven't gone on the TTM below zero. On the daily, you got a PPS signal to sell, so it's going down. Equinox is coming up on the 20, so there's a lot of stuff going on between the 21st and the 22nd, and then you got the Equinox change. So I don't know. This might continue going down, and then around here, it might probably start going up and maybe get a pullback in the full moon, but that's just, just speculating on the top of my head. Um, daily is in... Um, Zoom mode too, so definitely weak. You got Fisher sell signal, so this is on a daily is a like really weak. You got two brown bars on TTM short wave. Uh, you haven't had a red one here yet. Kind of divergence going up, but look, it's just now going back to the downside. So very, uh, very oversold, um, which could go lower. You got that 50 I told you on the weekly, which is that 28.77 around there. Nothing's changed here. Uh, Cherry probably left on the Tima. Everything is going down. Nothing here to even indicate. I mean, this is like when it's like changing the trend that you definitely, you, if you see the purple, you, we don't even have even arrows here on the Fisher, so on a weekly, so definitely. Maybe next week, if things start, you know, popping over here, maybe this will change the trend. But as of now, look at this long hockey stick. Very long hockey stick. It's just, it's going to go down or, but just long lot hockey stick negative TTM blue bars nothing's changed here everything is just pointing down um, CCI just heading south uh, I think we got the same arrows on Fisher uh, but if we get that purple one over here that's gonna be really ugly uh, still pointing down uh, TTM short wave still not below zero we don't have a red one here but this is monthly so that's pretty much it and I wanted to show you if I have some time I needed to change uh, 
my indicators because on a two because uh, I think we're swimming now is only allowing seven instead of eight. I think I misspoke on my last one. And I had to change some settings on it. I had to put 520 on the Swami intraday impulse in the Swami predict. So still looking red definitely on the 12 hour and very red on the uh, daily. So hope you guys enjoy this video and I'll keep posting my thoughts in the future. Peace.